Hi viewers, today we will solve example 9.2 from boil state. This is superposition theorem related problem. Here we have to identify current I3 which is flowing through the 4 ohm resistance. Superposition theorem states that current flowing through any element of a network will be equal to algebraic sum of currents produced independently by each source. Here I3 current due to independent effect of 54 volt voltage source and due to independent effect of 48 volt voltage source need to be identified separately when you consider the effect of 54 volt voltage source then this 48 volt voltage source need to be replaced by short circuit and when you consider the effect of 48 volt voltage source then this 54 volt short circuit 54 volt voltage source will be replaced by short circuit let us first consider the effect of 54 volt voltage source. So the equivalent circuit will become as This is 54 volt from here, this is 24 ohm from here, this is 12 ohm from here and this 48 volt is short circuited and this is 4 ohm from here. So we have to identify the current I3, let the current be I3 prime. From the circuit we see that 4 ohm resistance and 12 ohm resistance are in parallel so equivalent of this two resistance will be 12 parallel 4 that means 12 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 divided by 12 plus 4 that means 3 ohm so the equivalent resistance of this part will be 3 ohm we see that 3 ohm resistance and 24 ohm resistance are in series that means these two resistance will be added directly so equivalent resistance of this whole part will be 24 plus 3 that means 27 ohm now we can determine current throughout this path by using ohm's law let the current be i1 now i1 current I1 current will be voltage which is 54 volt 54 divided by the total resistance that is 27 ohm so 27 that means 2 ampere so we get that up to this point current is 2 ampere now this current 2 ampere current will divide in this two path and the direction of current flow will be downward so I3 prime current will be identified by using current divider rule. Now I3 prime will be 12 ohm 12 multiplied by the total current which is 2 ampere so 2 ampere and divided by the total resistance which is 12 ohm plus 4 ohm 12 plus 4 that means 1.5 ampere now let us consider the effect of 48 volt voltage source so the equivalent circuit will become as this is 24 ohm this is 12 ohm this is 4 ohm this is I3, this is 48 volt, the 40, 54 volt source is short circuited here. Let the current be I3 double prime. We see that 12 ohm resistance and 24 ohm resistance are in parallel. So equivalent of these two resistance will be 24 parallel 12, that means 24 multiplied by 12 divided by 12 plus 24. That means 8 ohm so equivalent resistance of this part is 8 ohm 
we see that a to home resistance and 4 ohm are in series so these two resistance will be added directly now equivalent resistance of this whole part will be 8 plus 4 that means 12 ohm now i3 prime double prime current can be identified by using ohm's law i3 double prime is equal the voltage 48 volt 48 volt divided by the total resistance that is 12 ohm 12 ohm that means 4 ampere we see that the direction of i3 prime current is here upward but the direction of i3 prime current is downward so the direction of this two current is vice versa that means the resulting i3 current will be i3 current will be 4 minus 1.5 1 1.5 ampere that is 2.5 ampere we get i3 is equal 2.5 ampere and the direction of this 2.5 ampere current is through this way this is the answer thanks for watching